Hey guys, welcome to What Was Mommy Thinking, or welcome back if you are already a subscriber. My name is Crystal. I am so glad that you're here. We are going to do a weekly check-in for December the, I think it's the 2nd through the 9th. It's December week one for me. We're going to do a weekly check-in, and then we're going to transfer my weekly money from my monthly cash envelopes into my wallet, which are my weekly cash envelopes. So if you are down for that and a little chat time, then please stick around. I would love to have you here with me. And I close my eyes to see even clearer, I see it all. If we keep our faith Sometimes I'm like a whisper in a riot But I grow stronger, keep believing in me Alright everybody, happy Friday night. I'm so glad that you guys are here with me. Today is Friday, December the 10th. All done with work. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camera. So I'm walking this tightrope between that horrible angle that you guys saw in those last few videos. I tried a new setup on my desk. It is an absolute hard no. So I'm back to having it sitting here and me trying to work around the the um, pole of the ring light that's holding my camera. So I am I am open to suggestions. I'm on the struggle bus. My camera is too heavy for like traditional clamp and those flexible arms. It just weighs it right down. So I'm open to suggestions, you guys. Maybe Santa Claus will bring me the solution. What do you think? So I've got a bunch of videos I want to get filmed this weekend. So let's get started on this one so that we can do some fun stuff like I am so looking forward to filming and unboxing you guys I can't even tell you all of the things I bought with that planner challenge money all the packages have come in and I do want to film an unboxing I haven't opened any of the packages and I think there are five I think I did four Etsy shops um, or for fellow youtubers and um, actually I did five because I bought some PDFs from Chrissy at the mom life and then one happy planner one. So let's get my weekly check-in underway and see how we did this week. So we are going to check in for the week of December the 3rd through, oops, I knew I was going to hit that. My weeks run from Friday to Thursday. We're going to check in from the 3rd through the 9th. So I'm going to go back here and this is my weekly check-in budget sheet for the month of December. If you guys are interested in this, it is a PDF printable instant download available in my Etsy shop. I went ahead and put my category stickers here for the first couple of weeks. And I really, really love how much better these fit on this sheet that I made than they did on the other Happy Planner paper. So I've got all four weeks and then I've got a budget closeout that I'll do with you guys at the end of the month. So we're going to flip over here and here it is, real life. I did not decorate this week. I did not use a tracking sheet this week. What we have is what we have and it's what I wrote in here and we're going to make that work. I did a little bit better job with the week that we're in right now. You guys will see that here in a minute. But I'm going to go ahead and grab a pen and some dot markers here just so that we can get moving here. I think six should be plenty. We'll see. As sure as I say that, we're going to need more than that. And I'm going to be reaching in that bag again, but we'll see how it goes. So for my weekly check-in, we're going to do grocery in this pretty purple color. We have a Walmart grocery here for 70. Let me get my calculator here. So 70. Then we have a grocery at Kroger's for 15. And then we have a Sam's Club for 73. So we're at 158. Then we have a household of gas and an eat out. And then when we flip to this week, eat out, Etsy, Christmas, license, tolls. Okay, so this is our grocery total for the week. So $158. We started the week 
fresh and clean, right? This is week one. So our balance at the beginning of the month for grocery was $1,000. My pen's not going to write. Was $1,000 in grocery and 100 oh my, 100 okay, well, I don't have the patience for that. I don't know about y'all. It was 100 in household. So if we spent $158 from 1000 that leaves us with $842. Now, if you guys watched my envelope stuffing from last week, you know that I do $250 a week. So if I take that to 50 and subtract 158, that leaves me with 92. So over here in the notes, I'm just going to write 92 for the week right there so that I know. And I'm going to go ahead and carry that balance of $842 down here. For household, I know for a fact that at Sam's Club, because and I talked to you guys about this last week, for the $25 that I was allocated, I did spend all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a dot on household. And um, I spent it all. So I'm going to write in that I spent $25 and that I have $75 left. And then I'll bring that 75 right down here to start off week two. So our next one is gas. I told you guys about the debacle at the gas station at Sam's Club. That is the only time that I purchased gas this week. It was $82. We started our month with $300 in our gas, $300 in our eating out, 100 in our miscellaneous, nothing in our couponing, and I can't remember our sports, but we'll get there. So for gas, we spent $82. That's going to leave us a total of 218, I believe. 300 minus 82 is 218. So this $218, remember that we get 75 a week. So the difference between the 75 we got and the 82 is that we have to take $7 from week two. And I'm going to just write that note here so I don't forget, which I probably will anyway, um, but that's there. So for eating out, we get $75 every week, and I know we spent, I think we spent all of it, but we'll check and see. So for eating out, I'm going to grab this brown because we shouldn't be eating out. I'm just kidding. So 46 plus, and then we got Subway, which was on the menu. So I made these stickers here that hold the dot. You put the amount and then all of that. So we'll see how that goes. So 28.12, so $46 plus 28.12, we round up. So 29 is $75. Wow. Okay. So we got the boys Subway on Monday. So I'm going to go ahead and write in here that we spent $75 and that we should have $225 left. Gas, we should have 218. And eat out, we should have $225. In miscellaneous, I am pretty sure we didn't spend any. I've got my income from Etsy. I've got a Christmas expenditure, um, tolls, and renewing my driver's license. So, no miscellaneous. So we're going to put a big goose egg on miscellaneous, which means we still have 100 for next week. And couponing, we did not stuff. Sports, I don't, I know we didn't spend anything, but I'm not sure what we started with. And when on the paycheck today, when I do my stuffing, I am stuffing my sports sinking fund. So here's what we get to do that's cool and fun is we now get to make sure that these are the amounts that I have left in my cash wallet. And then we're going to put week two amounts into my cash wallet out of my monthly envelopes. So today is Friday. I did buy lunch for my staff and I. 
So that's what this expenditure is for today. And I didn't get my grocery done. So we're going to have to do groceries sometime this weekend. Um, I didn't get all of my meal planning done. I kind of have a rough job, but I need to go through my pantry and stuff and see what I have so I know what I actually need. So there will be some more expenditures coming in for this week. But for right now, this is where we're at. I'm going to go ahead and close this up and put it aside and then we're going to take all of this and put it away and grab our monthly seeking funds right here our monthly cash envelopes why do i keep saying seeking funds and my wallet so this is my filofax saffiano and inside of it is a happy planner skinny mini and i'm going to go ahead and pull that out completely and get my freezer meal list off of here and we're going to lay this sheet up here um, and we're going to compare what we have in the wallet to what is listed on this sheet so happy planner skinny classic right here you guys and um, we're just going to open up to the first page which is grocery so in my grocery, it says that I should have $842 left, right? So $842, I have $750 in here. So that means that I should have $92 left in here. So let's pull all the cash out and see where we're at. $20, $40, $60, $80, $85, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,
Household is one of those things that I feel like right along with gas, the prices have really gone up. And I know I feel super old when I say that, but I really do feel that way. Okay, for gasoline, we need to do two things. Number one, we need to put an overage, which I did not take out. And that's going to be that $7 that we put in a note up here that we need to take out, which would leave us with $218. And then we need to take out on 1210 we need to take out week two, and we're going to do week two as our 75 minus the seven. So we're only going to take $68 out. So that's going to leave us with $150. So here's how we're going to have to do that because I don't have any singles left in this. Well, I don't have any singles, period. So I'll have to make change out of my um, stuffing money. So we're going to go ahead and put 150 back in here. So 50, 75, 125, 145, and 150. This 50, 75 is going to go in our gas envelope, but I know I've got to pull $7 out of it to go to the bank to cover what I spent on gas. So I'm going to go ahead and, oh wait. Is there money in here? Why is there money in here? Did I put money in the wrong envelope? Oh, what did I do? Okay, so this 75 should have gone to the bank when I went to the bank. So this 75 has got to go in here. Oh, good job there, sis. Okay, so we went to Sam's. We spent $75 out of what we had in here. That's nothing. I've got to get that seven, but we're going to go ahead and put in 1210 plus $75 for week two, and that's gonna give us $75. Then we have to take out an overage of $7, and that's gonna give us $68. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the five, and then I will make myself a note that I owe $2 to the bank out of gas. So, I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to put two dollars to the bank and I'll put this five in my to the bank envelope so there we go and that's as close as I'm going to get it's close enough for government work for those of you that didn't know I do work for the government that's not it that's not a nice thing is it Okay, so for eating out, we get the same amount for eating out that we do for gas money. And so for 1210, I'm going to put in a week two, and we're going to take $75 out of this envelope, leaving us with $150. So I'm going to come in here, pull the money. Do 5075 for this week, and then we're going to say 5075, 125, 145, and 150 back into our monthly cash envelopes, and we will leave it just like this. All right, for eating out, there should be nothing left in here, and there's not. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to write 1210. I'm going to add $75 for week two, and that's going to give us a balance of $75. Every time I say balance, you guys, I think of that um, men's underwear commercial where he says he has balance. Oh, goodness. The things that are in my head that I should just keep in there. Okay. So eating out is done. Sports is one that gets stuffed with sinking funds. We have miscellaneous. Now it says here we didn't spend anything in miscellaneous. We should have $100. So here's 25 in this envelope. And it says here that we have 75 in here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take on 1210. We're going to take week two. And we'll subtract that $25, giving us 50 and that'll be for the last two. I cannot believe that we are 
Oh my gosh, I can't believe how close we are to Christmas and to the end of 2021, getting ready to go into 2022. So we'll take 25 out. We'll have 20, 25, 45, and 50 that stays in this envelope for the last two weeks of December. And that is it for those. I'm gonna set that aside really quick. And then this $25 is going to go with this $25, giving us 20, 40, 45, and 50. So other than owing my grocery money that's going to my pantry two singles and um, owing the bank two singles, that's $2 each one, we are all set. I can put this back in my wallet. We're ready for the week that starts today, the 10th of December. So I'm going to put this back in here, close it up, and throw a Sharpie in here because I don't know what I did with mine. And this one is good to go. I'm going to go ahead and reband my cash envelopes and get this back in the safe. And this is money that is going to go into my pantry savings challenge that, you know guys, I think I'm going to end up using that pantry savings challenge money to... Um, buy stuff for freezer cooking sessions over the Christmas break. I think I want to do one freezer cooking day for beef, one for chicken, and one for breakfast. So let me know your guys' thoughts on that. And I'm going to go ahead and put this sheet back into my budget binder so that it is where it's supposed to be doing what it's supposed to be doing, which really is nothing, until next week. And let me see here. It goes right in front of my monthly budget because I use it first. So we will keep plugging right along. I've got my categories. I've got my amounts. Everything checked out except for that $2, so I do have to fix that and we're good to go for next week's check-in. I am going to print a um, ooh, another sticker kit to put in next week, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna go back to, if you guys remember, I used to do those balance your account every day. I'm not sure if I'm going to put those in every day because I haven't been doing them every day. I would love to get back to doing them, but I just haven't been consistent, so we'll see how that plays out. Um, and I need to put my husband's paycheck in for income for today. But other than that, we are good to go. This is going to go in my pantry, and hopefully I'll get some singles when I do my other savings challenges. And um, I'm going to wrap up this video because I'd really like to do my envelope stuffing video for the paycheck of December the 10th. So with that being said, I want to thank you guys so, so very much for being here with me and for all of your love and your kindness and support. You guys are incredible, and I will see you guys very soon. Until then, take care of yourselves, be well, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.